guys, welcome to vlog number three. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better since my seizure, which is really great. That was about a week and a half ago now. So yeah, pretty much fully recovered. Um, was feeling quite tired and my tongue was quite sore, but hopefully you can tell that I can actually talk properly now and I feel just a lot better and I've got a lot more energy and everything's really good. I thought that I would do something a bit different uh, for this vlog and talk about a movie that me and my boyfriend watched on Sunday night. Um, it's one that I've wanted to watch for quite a long time. Um, it's called Electricity and it's a film about a girl who has epilepsy. Um, it's got the model Agnes Dean in it, she's the main part, playing a character called Lily. Um, so yeah, I'll read you the little synopsis on Wikipedia. Lily O'Connor, a northerner with epilepsy, finds out that her brother, who she believes to be dead, may be alive. She leaves her safe, routine life and goes to London to find him. Epilepsy colours her perceptions and the film shows how she views everyday objects and places as obstacles and dangers. So in the film, Lily, as far as I can gather, has pretty similar epilepsy to the kind of epilepsy that I've got. So I think she says she has temporal lobe, um, she has tonic-clonic seizures, and one of the medications she takes is Lamotrigine and I take Lamictal, which is just a different brand name for Lamotrigine. It's quite an intense film, I have to say. It's really strange, but sometimes if I see anything that reminds me of having a seizure or if I see someone else who might be in trouble or anything, as much as I'm interested in epilepsy, sometimes it can actually make me feel a bit weird. Um, so. I did really want to see the film, but I didn't want to see it in the cinema, I wanted to watch it at home. The bit that I found quite interesting was how the film kind of portrayed the lead up, like the aura um, that Lily experienced before she actually had a seizure. For example, weird little things like, um, I don't know if I, you remember in my last vlog I was talking about how um, sometimes before I have a seizure it feels like the circulation in my fingers is going a bit, like I've got pins and needles. She was sort of doing stuff like that, she, like she was looking at her hands in front of her um, and then, you know, there were lots of colours everywhere, she sort of, everything was like fading in and out and then falling to the floor and letting out a sort of cry, which I think actually is because the air is sort of being trapped and being pushed out of you as you kind of convulse, it's not very nice. There's actually a moment in the film where Lily gets so annoyed about the fact that she has to take medicine um, that she just stops taking it and goes to a club with a friend that she's made and has a really bad seizure and that's quite scary, has to go to hospital. As a character she's quite feisty. She's obviously someone who doesn't really want epilepsy to stop her from doing everything that she wants to be doing but she does have seizures quite a lot. When I was watching the film it kind of just made me think about a little bit like what I used to feel like. I used to get really annoyed about the fact that I had epilepsy and that it would stop me from doing things. There's some parts in the film where Lily's at the hospital or at the doctor trying to get some more medicine and she's getting quite annoyed because they're quite condescending in the way that they're talking to her and sort of just um, assuming that it, it just kind of comes across a little bit like, oh, this girl's got epilepsy, so she must be, you know, that must affect her intelligence almost. Um, and they're kind of saying, oh, you know, do you remember that you've got to take this medicine or this medicine or how much? And she kind of comes right back at them to say, look, I'm, I've taken all these different types of medicines, you know, for years now. Um, I can list off, you know, how many milligrams, each different type of medicine that she'd taken and all that kind of thing. So yeah, that was quite funny because you do sometimes feel a little bit like, I don't know, it's, it's funny because epilepsy doesn't affect your intelligence. You can be a completely normal person, you've just got something that causes your brain to just act a little differently sometimes. So thanks very much for watching my video, if you've got anything you want to say or if you'd like me to do a video on anything else, please put it in the comment box below and remember to subscribe to my channel.